Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Tom Harris. And welcome back. Well, it's a big weekend here in the Coastal Bend, but boy, is it a cold weekend. They've got the third annual Corpus Christi Food Truck Festival that you can see still quite a people out here tonight. And joining me is the owner of one of the uh, food trucks here, Carrie Hi. Smith from Ingleside. Now, you're a busy girl. You got the food truck. Yes. You have a restaurant that yes. you opened last year. Mm -hmm. Well, and then the hurricane came I know. Around. The hurricane just really took it hard but we've we've been able to turn it around i actually reopened within a week a week yeah with the telephone pole that came through the roof telephone went right through the roof my pole front end ripped off my husband rebuilt it with some help and friends and we got up and running then i started feeding the hurricane relief victims after that fantastic now you got the food truck yeah. here have you been to this festival before yep three years running every year i'm here and the business is pretty good oh yeah here even though it's a little bit cold i've been non-stop since 10 30 this morning my line never stops as you can see right now well that's fantastic especially after the losses of last oh, year yeah. appreciate you being with oh, us yeah, enjoy you. the rest of the festival goes till about midnight tonight it is going to be a very chilly evening here's a look at our weather we're looking at 54 degrees right now here in Corpus Christi under cloudy skies. It's still breezy out there. The winds out of the north at 18 miles per hour. Our high temperatures today a little deceiving, and that's because they occurred in the early morning hours before the front blew through. 74 was our daytime high here in the city. Kingsville 75, 74 in Rockport. But take a look at the temperatures around the area at this hour. Looking at 51 degrees in Rockport, 55 the Naval Air station 56 in Robstown. Now most of these temperatures are right around 30 degrees cooler than they were yesterday at this time. So that Arctic air definitely having an influence and you can see this cold air impacting much of the state. 43 degrees in Austin, 42 in Abilene, 41 in the Dallas area. So just about everybody below normal for this time of year. The other story has definitely been the winds. The winds are blowing out of the north at about 8 18 miles per hour at the Naval Air Station, about 23 miles per hour. Our peak wind gust, about 29 here in Corpus Christi, 31 at the Naval Air Station. Now, as far as tonight, winds will start to taper off overnight. And looks like it's going to be a lot less windy for the end to the weekend. About usual that the winds are going to shift to the southeast at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. But as far as our boating forecast for tonight, a small crowd craft advisory is in effect through tomorrow morning with the winds blowing out of the north 25 to 30 knots. Our bays are going to be rough. Gulf seas running right around four to six feet. Our beach and boating forecast is going to be improving for the end to the weekend. A combination radar and satellite imagery shows cloudy skies across pretty much all of South Texas. No break. We had that front drop down to our south and that very cold air moving through the central plains, making it all the way down to Texas. So it's going to give us a rather chilly night. Temperatures going to drop down into the upper 40s to lower 50s. So it's going to be a little cool as you step outside tomorrow morning. Now, as far as the future tracker, some of the clouds sticking through right along the coast tomorrow, so maybe not quite as cool as we were expecting, but more sunshine in the forecast for the end to the weekend. So if you've got outdoor plans tomorrow, definitely looks a lot better than we saw today. Then that Gulf moisture will creep back into the area as we head into Monday. Here's what's happening around the rest of the country, that front impacting much of the southeast, the strong line of thunderstorms rolling across parts parts of northern Florida this evening. Some snow across parts of the upper Ohio Valley. Another big storm system coming in from the west and you can see it's pounding Portland and Seattle but California that's the threat area because they have uh, had a lot of fires over this past year and there's not a lot of vegetation so they're going to see a high threat for mudslides the next few days in California. But that Arctic air impacting much of the central and eastern half of the nation, 20s and 30s. Little Rock is at 40 degrees. Nashville is at 38. It's going to move out quickly, however, and temperatures will start to rebound tomorrow. Here's a look at our forecast for tonight. Mostly cloudy, breezy and cool. We'll see an overnight low right around 50 degrees for Sunday. After a chilly start, it's going to warm up to about 74 degrees.
degrees, light northeast winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's what we can expect throughout the next several days. Monday, about 78 degrees. We're going to see another front. It's going to come through Monday night into Tuesday. A slight chance of a shower with the frontal passage. Very nice weather conditions for the middle part of the work week. And then we'll return to a little breezy and warmer for the latter half of the week as we head into Thursday and Friday. Another slight chance of rain with the next front that comes in Friday evening. Again, we're out here uh, downtown near the Bank, American Bank Center for the third annual Corpus Christi Food Truck Festival. They've got events for the whole family, some face painting, live music, but with the cold weather, most people are pretty much grabbing their food and uh, taking off pretty quickly. But so far, the event seems to be another big success. Nikila.